Hey everybody, welcome to today's purse tripping video. We are going to Savers, of course we are. But first, I've got a mass amount of packages back there that are going, can you guys see that? They're going to the post office because yesterday was a holiday. So if you're wondering, where is my package? Why hasn't it been, why wasn't it picked up yesterday? <clears throat> Excuse me, that's because yesterday was a holiday, guys. Um, and I've got a ton of stuff I'm gonna be dropping off because I cleaned out my she shed. I brought shelves in to get it more organized with the bags that I'm bringing in because it was a disaster in there. But now it's like really cute. So if I remember, I will show you guys. But first, we're gonna drop these packages off and I'll see you in two seconds in the bags. Okay, so I just dropped off all of my donations. I think I had four large garbage bags, a table, um, just stuff that was accumulating that was originally made to make my she shed look really cute but since it's completely getting you know I have so much inventory and I still keep thrifting more which I probably shouldn't be doing but I love thrifting so I don't want to stop even though I have a room full of handbags so um got my big savers bag here hopefully it'll come out with at least a couple in it it's one of these like, don not donation bags you purchase these for like a dollar or whatever um, yeah, and we're gonna just go in and hopefully find some purses for resale. Okay, you guys, welcome to the 30% off Senior Day Chaos. <laughs> it's another busy one in here today, so we'll just do the best we can and find the best we can because it's probably pretty picked over already. Fuzzy slippers. Let's get you over to the handbags where you really want to be right now. But first, what are these? interesting they look very cozy you guys already looked through the wallets this is the section and there is really nothing except for this kipling passport holder uh it is brand new with tags where's the price at i thought there was a price on it i don't know should i get this if they price it for me maybe somebody would want it yeah. we'll hold it for now Money. Prices are blooming at Savers. The prices are really going up on everything. As of everywhere we go, this is probably a relic, not a fossil, because, yep, it's plastic. Okay. If it were fossil, I would get it, because the little guys, like the owls or fox or whatever, they're kind of highly sought after. So... What's this? Nothing. Alright. Let's go over here to the person. I grabbed a Betsy Johnson already. You'll see it out in the car. It's got, it's a uh, limited Betsy Johnson with a big sequin bow on the front. Um, they are really, really pricey on eBay. I was lucky to find that one, so I'll show you in a little bit when we do our car haul. I know somebody will like this one, but, uh, nope, it's a little bit too worn on the edges, but I do have lots of followers that like this really western hair on hide and embossed look, but it's way too damaged, so... We're going to pass on that one for sure. This little fringy bag is really cute, but it's faux leather. I'll take you around to other parts of the store today too, if you like. Um, what is this guy? I can tell it's already plastic. Charming Charlie. That's what that one is. This one's still here. So I'm using the Louis Vuitton Speedy 25. Didn't think I would like it, and I absolutely love it. Um, it it's, I don't know, it's just like perfect for me. So that's not for sale at the moment anymore. Um, I've got lots of people making offers on it, but I don't want to sell it, so at this time. Doesn't mean I won't, but right now it's definitely, I'm, I'm loving it. 
took it out to Randy's birthday dinner. It was just like really super comfortable and compact yet fits a ton. My favorite kind of bag. This coach is adorable, but it's a mess. Here's this little Betsy Johnson crossbody and a pink cheetah. But there's too much cracking. This is the minimum they ask for for a Betsy Johnson and it goes up from there. So, Betsy's expensive. You guys wanna look at some jewelry? My style. Maybe you guys see something in here you love. Um, a little bit, a little bit too bulky for a necklace for me. But um, I love some of this. The little one back there with a the little blue stone is pretty. I like that one. Thirty bucks, whatever it is. And there's that big, big chain. So, what do you guys think about this bag? I really like it. Um, I love the, the black croc leather. It's actually faux croc though, and it's by Aldo. But it's such a nice little satchel that's super trending. And, you know, I was wondering if you guys are interested in things like this. Would you rather not because it's not real leather, but it's got the great slip pockets for your keys and your phone, the crossbody strap, the, you know, the top handles, zipper top closure. Let me know what you think about it. I might go ahead and grab it just to see. Um, I don't mind giving it to somebody else if nobody purchases it or keeping it, I don't know, giving it to one of my friends or something. But let me know what you think of this bag, okay? And then 
And then something I found, which I never find, a Michael Kors men's wallet, and it's in navy blue and black. It's only $5.99. It's actually really nice, all leather inside. Oh, this little guy slips out here. So it's like two parts. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this. Um, it's really pretty. And it's in good shape, just need to wipe it down a little bit. So let's go ahead and grab that. This guess is really different. Oh, way too much wear right there. $25. So um, all of their bags, you guys, that are any type of name brand that they recognize, like Guess, um, TNEO, Betsy Johnson, they start, they start at $24.99. They're no longer anything under that price unless it's a full-on no-name plastic bag like this one right here. Like mm, multi-sack, which is a plastic worn out bag for $7.99. So you guys kind of can get the gist of what I'm paying for the bags and things. Um, and then there's of course the ones that are behind the counter that are a lot more expensive. This is a, a Tene Anye. It's a pretty leather hobo style. But I still have too many bags like that at home, so I'm not gonna pick it up. This is my favorite color, and it looks like one of those vintage clutch bags that open kind of funky. Let's check it out, just because I love the color. Yep, it is. It's that kind of little clutch. It's got a little thumb wrapper. It's got a little chain with it. Genuine leather, and it is by Etra. It's another Etra clutch. Such a little beauty. I'm gonna go ahead and get this because, like I said, if it doesn't sell, I love these little clutches. Um, it is vintage and it's only $6.99. So I think I am going to get to put this back though because I just don't know if anybody would want it due to the fact that it's an Aldo and it's not real leather. This crossbody is so pretty. Right behind you. Oh, hello. Okay, so the cart came out. There were no bags on it, but there is this coach wallet. It needs to be cleaned up. On the out, a little bit right here, but that's it. That'll wipe right off. And then there was this Marc Jacobs wallet. I haven't looked at any of this stuff yet. So this Marc Jacobs. And then I was showing you guys this. It's just a very boho um, beaded crossbody bag. How much is it? $5.49. It's pretty. But I don't have enough um, followers that really like this, I don't think. you guys so you guys like to see the bag of the day and this is my bag I love I love this thing you guys I'm really really enjoying it I never knew I would love a bag so much that didn't have some sort of a longer tote style strap or crossbody strap or something but if you didn't see I um, found this off of Facebook marketplace this authentic Louis Vuitton and I'm keeping her as for now because it's it's just perfect. I really love it. So that's my bag of the day. And she's full. I'm gonna have to clean it out pretty soon. And let's get on to the things I thrifted for you guys. Okay, um, we'll start off with the wallets. So you saw that I purchased this really cute coach, a little compact wallet, 
and it is in gray and black. It's got black leather trim, silver hardware, twist lock closure, zipper pocket on the back for your coin, a blue interior. The inside is all black leather. All these items are for sale on my uh, upcoming live video. So if you guys can see that, okay. Hopefully you can, because the way the light's coming in again, it's kind of difficult, but I will do the best I can. And like I said, I will definitely have it on an upcoming video where I show you much more detail, um, card slots, pockets, all that good stuff. So have that wallet. Then um, I got this. If you guys want this, that's fine. I just, I love this color. I love the fact that it's vintage. So I picked it up. It's the Etra little clutch. Uh, this is probably the, I'd say the 60s, possibly early 60s vintage clutch. It's got a little little leather clasp on here, gold tone hardware, and it opens so cool like this. And it's got the little chain shoulder strap in it. So wear it as a clutch, wear it as a little shoulder bag. I would use it for a little catch-all in my purse. That's just what I would use it for because I don't go anywhere where I can just carry something this small. But really loving that. Okay, did that, did that. Um, found this men's or it could be used as a woman's as well. I have seen girls on um, doing what's in my bag videos and they use men's wallets just because it's best for them. You know what, I'm gonna see if you guys are able to see better right here I feel like it's better right here for you okay so this is the Michael Kors men's signature wallet in Safiano leather the MK is silver it has black leather trim navy blue and the inside looks like this two separate bill compartments what's really cool is if you or your guy wants to have another part this can be just for a quick getaway and um, I'll clean it up but it's got the ID window and some card slots and then there's a little pocket behind here so that just slips in and then there's all of these compartments okay so I really thought that was kind of cool now Randy he's not a Michael Kors kind of guy neither is Reed so I won't be offering this to either one of them they're it's not their style, so I know there are lots of guys out there who do love Michael Kors, though. So I have a man's wallet now for sale. This Marc Jacobs is gorgeous. It's black, so black, black Safiano. It's black Safiano leather. Um, and it says Michael, Marc Jacobs right here. And if you prefer, that'll wipe right off. If you prefer a wallet that matches your bag, the hardware on your bag, well, this is the wallet for you because the inside has metallic silver, metallic gold, and black. So, really neat wallet. Card slots, lots of card slots here, and then another pocket back here, and a coin compartment. So really, really pretty Marc Jacobs bifold. In great condition. Okay. Um, I actually bought this for myself, but I know there's lots of you out there, not a lot of you, there are a few of you out there that love just the boho look of a really soft cloth backpack, cotton, and that's what this is. I love the colors in this. So pretty. Medium sized backpack purse. It's all cotton. It's got a front pocket right there. It's in brand new condition. It's, I don't know if this is homemade or boutique made. I'm not exactly sure. Um, but either way, it's super cute. And it's got a nice zipper pocket on the inside. And then the inside is all white cotton. So like I said, if you're interested, I will sell it. If not, this is one I would definitely keep for myself. Um, Cause I just, I really love the patterns on it. 
the weight does not have adjustable straps um, but they are long so they'll definitely fit anything from a smaller girl to a to a larger girl or guy whoever wants to use it so there's that I just think it's adorable love these kind of um, material cloth backpacks totes and things like that okay and then last but not least i got the coveted this is a very coveted bag this is a betsy johnson tote oops i had it all crambled up when i purchased it i put it in my bag and it's the green and blue very large sequin bow and i'll get it all cleaned up and straightened out um, it looks like this it needs to have needs to have a stuffing in it so you guys can see how cute it really is. There's lots and lots of pockets. So there's this side with a slip pocket right here. And then this is a zipper center compartment. Lavender. And then you have the back pocket with the key lanyard and the Betsy Johnson zip pocket. This is definitely a medium-sized tote. That snaps down there. It's got a little heart zipper pull. Your little key lanyard. Chain on the tote straps. Yeah, this will this will be just fine as soon as I fill her up. And she sits out for a little while, but isn't it pretty? All the sequins are intact. Little gold hardware on the center. Okay. And that's today's haul, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you liked any of these or anything in the thrift store that I didn't pick up. Let me know if you liked it, what you thought about it, because that gives me ideas for next time. So, all right, you guys, stay humble, stay kind, and I'll see you guys on tomorrow's video. Bye, everybody.